Hi guys, I'm going to do a really quick reading on J.O. Rivers. If you don't know about J.O., just look in the description below. There'll be an article on him. Hmm. Yeah, he's definitely left this world. Um, he's no longer alive, I believe. Out in the elements, maybe. But it is very hot country over there in Queensland Outback. Um, yeah, it's interesting. There could be some new evidence. Yep, out in the outback there. Could be a fence line somewhere that looks like that. It's interesting how they come up <laughs> in the readings here, actually. He's, the coroner yesterday found that he had met with foul play, which is what I said initially in my very first reading. After two weeks, he went missing. Um, seven of Cups. He could be near water, like a river. But they're going to have to examine something very carefully. And it could be, look, look at that cave-like structure. What the hell is that? Cave-like structure where water's going in and out. I, I don't know. I don't know where the hell they took him. But I, I believe this was foul play. Otherwise his body would have been found. That's what I believe. Um, yes, he was outcast from the group and abandoned somewhere yep someone's got a heavy conscience like it's weighing heavily on their conscience what happened to him and but they've just moved on with this you know it's all, it's weird because this is the baggage and this is a letting go of baggage and this is both travel cards by the looks of them here. Like this is usually, over, you know, stressed out, too many responsibilities weighing on you and sounds really crass, but it is coming to me that it was almost like, it's like that dead weight. So in other words, they had him in a vehicle. They had him in a vehicle deceased. There's a white blanket. Looks like a white blanket. And it's so weird because I'm pretty sure that one of the CCTV showed some car that just suddenly turned up out of nowhere and was stealing petrol and just driving off again. And I swear to God, like what looked like bright red shoes like J.O. was wearing was in the back of that vehicle. Could be wrong. Um, just so strange that they just travelled all the way from the Gold Coast or somewhere hundreds of miles to this little outback town where J.O. had gone missing from. And they had this big blanket in their car and then suddenly in the next shot the blanket's no longer there anymore it's just it's weird i don't know if they've got anything to do with it it's just strange um yes but they dumped him somewhere they have taken him somewhere and somewhere well it's very remote out there anyway but i'm wondering if he's in water or near the water it's just flat land there too. There's no mountains as far as I remember. Like it's just flat for miles. Um, <clears throat> there's the wheel. So it represents to me, once again, travel. Sagittarius, Jupiter energies, travel, long distance travel. They've taken him somewhere, maybe another township somewhere up near there. Um could be somewhere where there is a bit more growth like of trees yeah definitely fair distance they've taken him a fair distance away so I mean they didn't report him missing up until 30 hours they had a whole you know 24 hours plus to travel somewhere with his body and take him somewhere maybe even who knows? Oh, I don't know if they crossed a border somewhere else, but <sighs> yeah, definitely deceased by the death card there. And resting in peace. Look at that. That's what I call this card if I'm doing a, a crime reading. Four of Swords to me usually represents the traditional meaning is recovery and mental rest. But I see this as resting in peace so in other words deceased okay 
could be in something or he's obviously obviously under or in something to be concealed from the public from the public eye mm -hmm, the tower unearthed it could be in he, this is like when something is unearthed it's like the meaning of the tower is what i call shit hitting the fan it's it's a sudden eruption it's a sudden event that causes chaos and it's almost like everything you knew in your life has just become unearthed and so when i see that it tells me that perhaps jo could even be in a log okay i saw that in my last vision that he may have been placed inside or under a log um he's in something he's under or in something and could have been also buried we're talking about unearthed like the tower is also rising up from the rubble okay so is there somewhere around him where there's broken bricks um broken dirt um big mound of dirt obviously if they've buried him it could be that uh, i think that when the police took drones and everything that's what they look for too when they're searching i don't think they found anything like that so is he in the water is he under the dirt page of pentacles out in the out in the bushland which is just strange because it's like desert out there it's hardly any book like i mean there are trees there are there are quite a few trees and there are like uh, rivers and things there's a queen of cups and he was an indigenous man i feel like his family they know i think they knew from day one that there was foul play involved in this they just knew it in their soul and also he was on a trip with someone who was supposed to be like a brother to him who grew up with him who was classified as family and who turned his back on jo and betrayed him basically that's how it was seen as um and this is the intuition okay this is the i feel like the the family the mother the mothers the aunties tuning in to his soul because they know they know that he needs to be retrieved <sighs> goodness me yes there is the emperor there's a main like there was about six of them i think but there's a main one in the group who may call the shots more it might be someone that the others fear a bit i don't know um the hanged man yeah there's the anxiety there's the tears and the anguish not sleeping at night not knowing what's happened to their family member they're hanging in limbo they have no freaking idea and this person is is powerful because they have the information they have the control they are controlling even how the investigation has gone um and it could even be if you're looking at the emperor somebody who's a businessman um someone who could be high in status or has people around them you know i mean i think one of them said in the article i read just today that jo had learned and this was um i don't know if it's factual or what but they were saying that J.O. had learned that they were the group of men were trafficking cannabis, uh, cannabis across borders and he had come to realise what they were doing and was against what they were doing, um, which is just so bizarre because in the very first reading I did, I saw that he was against something they were doing. He did not want to take part in it. Now, I don't know what it was. I, I know that they were pig hunting as well and... There's a whole lot of things I don't even really know. Nobody knows the truth but the people there. Um, but it's said that that's what happened around the drug thing and that he was against that and, the, and a fight broke out and then he ended his life ended. Um, that's what's been said. There's no proof of that as yet, but that's the theory. And if that's the truth about drugs, you know, being involved and if there's a trafficking of drugs to sell to different communities or whatever depends on how much money you know those are worth 
and also going into different borders during the time of COVID. There's so many things, right? Um, <clears throat> and who knows what connections those people all have and if, if there's heavier drugs. But I don't know about that, but I do believe there were drugs involved somewhere, whether they were doing them or dealing them, I don't know. But I did feel that J.O. was not seeing eye to eye with the people he was with. I'm going to get my crime cards out now. But um, So the story goes that they... Just like the Noah Presgrove thing, <laughs> a group of friends out somewhere and they just tell the police, oh, they just walked off, right? Which is a common theme. <laughs> Zach Barnes, uh, Jaden Penno in Australia here, the same story being with friends, right? In a vehicle or out somewhere and it's like, oh, they just walked off or they ran off. Noah Presgrove, Carly Guse, her family said the same uh, William Terrell, he was um, abducted, you know, the story was that he was abducted um, when really people or the police, I think, even are questioning the foster mother. Um, you've got Karen Rostevsky, whose spouse had said, or her husband had claimed that she just walked off when in actual fact he had actually killed her. So, you know, there's all these stories amongst these people that, oh, they just walked off. Church, religion, faith, spiritual. So is there somebody who's going to find their faith? Have they confessed to a priest? Um, I just can't see it, but you never know. You never know if there's a heavy conscience on someone. Um, or will they turn to this, you know, and, and start having a conscience? Are they technically a Christian? <laughs> Money involved here? Interesting. Interesting. Changed appearance, new hairstyle, different clothing. So someone in the group may have changed their appearance. They might have cut their hair or, I don't know, got tattoos or, I don't know. Uh, mental illness, stress, fragmented breakdown. So somebody, and I know it came up in the short that I just did, that somebody is suffering mentally from everything that's happened especially if there is drug use as well, that can really fragment um, their mind. Wow, pickup truck and ute has come up, which is interesting because they were travelling, I think, in two of them. I think they had dogs with them too. But let's have another look. Helper. Planned, yeah, so they planned. I don't know if his death was planned. It could have been that somebody got really angry and shot him or, I don't know, beat him to death or whatever they did. I don't believe it was planned as such. It might have been that someone even on under the influence of drugs just lost their cool with him and snapped and he ended up dead. That could be it. But the planning aspect is the disposing of him in my opinion. Secrets cover up withholding information. Three guys in this picture out in the outback. It's just showing me that these guys hold secrets. They have knowledge, allegedly, right, of what happened to J.O. New identity don't want to be found. So has one of the people just taken off somewhere else? Have they moved, relocated? Have they really gone underground? Just don't really not saying anything, hiding from the others, I don't know. Um, theft, thief, robber, mouse. Yeah, so maybe one of them also has a rap sheet. Oh, what are you doing, Kai Kai? My doggies come in. Uh, one of them might be, might have, excuse me, I'm doing a reading, mate. Sit down. <laughs> now you go sit down, baby. Do you want to go outside? Sorry, guys. Okay, so no, he did not want to go outside. He's just, I don't know what was going on there. But somebody has a criminal record possibly for stealing. April, justice, clean framed innocent, clear conscience set up or scapegoat. So someone could be made to be a scapegoat. 
Uh, they're trying to make out they're all innocent. Is there going to be justice? Because it doesn't seem like there's enough evidence for anyone to say, oh, yeah, these guys definitely killed him. They've got no weapon, as far as I'm aware. There's no weapon. There's no body. Okay, J.O. has not been found. There's no crime scene, I don't think, that the police were, you know, taping off or anything. I don't think they found any blood or... Now, that's interesting. That's come up again. Uniform impersonation, corruption, false. Were the police... You know, it's been said that the police didn't do enough, really, in Queensland to help with finding J.O. Um, I don't think they took it very seriously or they just... I'm not really sure what they have done, but I don't think it's been really maybe enough initially. And is there corruption? I don't know anything about that as such. Um... But is there incompetence? Did they just, was it lazy work? I don't know. I can't really comment on it. But the family will know. They will know what's been done and what's not been done. Two to four people, small intimate group near a river, which is interesting. And that's interesting there's a female in the card because I don't think there was a female there. But it was so weird because in my first tarot reading or the second, it just kept coming up around a female presence or something. It was just bizarre. So either a very feminine male or a female. Um, but it's interesting because the, the car that I just spoke about that was being driven with these other people and stealing petrol, you know, we're talking about thieves down there too, uh, there, that was a, there was a woman there with them. If, she, if they are involved and connected somehow. Um, yeah, desert. Look, it was out in the desert. Hmm, hmm, drug addict? Wow, we're talking about the drugs, weren't we? I think they are drug addicts. Overdose? Maybe one of them will overdose, and that's that's karmic justice, poetic justice in a way, maybe. Um, well, I don't know what that is, but maybe one of them has been done for that. Okay, we might be getting irrelevant things here. Spirit, can we get an idea on J.O.? October and it's saying winter as well so October is spring here but something could happen in winter as well whoops and we are in October right now today exactly when I'm doing this reading is the day to the day where he went missing in 2021 train tracks is there anything out you know out whoop whoop as they call it where there's train tracks, is he near somewhere like that? Short hair shaved, somebody has. And awaiting, well, now it's interesting, it's saying natural causes, awaiting rescue and delays in, in retrieving his body. It's just so bizarre, because in the, in the actual article that I read, it said that it was likely that he met with foul play because of all the inconsistent stories, okay, of these um, companions, travel companions. But it also said in the article that the coroner said, but it could be that he died of natural causes and said something about kidney failure due to heat exposure. And I'm thinking, what? What? Like, where is there any evidence of, uh, to suggest that? Like, he would have to be out and exposed to the elements, you would think, um, and would be found by now. So that was just bizarre. Um, unless it's something we don't know about with his health, where there was a kidney issue. I don't know. But that was just strange to me, and it's strange it's coming up here. But medium-length hair, which I think he had. Someone else in the group might have that. <sighs> but let's have a look. What else can we learn? He was trapped in a situation he felt he could not get out of. And I feel like he really was, like, he, he came to realise very quickly that they were, like, circling, no, I'm not saying physically, literally, circling around him, but it could be that they were, like, honing in on him and, and fighting with him. I don't know, but he just felt like he was, in, he was in a situation he couldn't get out of. And apparently, I read in the article, which I didn't know about until today, that he had actually called his cousin 
saying that they were beating him like he had a fist fight with one of them or something and was calling for someone to come and pick him up and to come and get him, which is just so sad to know that. Um, so he definitely felt like he was in danger at some point. He knew he was in danger. And the Seven of Wands, yeah, they're all keeping their cards close to their chest, maybe very defensive. Um, there's the vehicle. They might have gone to two different locations. One might have been to just to get rid of evidence, like a weapon or whatever, and another one might have been to, to get rid of him, okay? And I'm hearing 500. I uh, can't imagine they would have driven 500 miles. That's just way too long, or kilometres. 500 metres? I don't know. Would have thought he'd be found. It's still in its infancy, this investigation, even though there's been extensive searches. I feel like there's still so much more to do, to find. And there's the mum, I feel, the family, the aunties, the mums, keeping faith that, you know, that evidence will be found. There's the group fight, the fighting, the arguing between the guys. So they might not be seeing eye to eye. They might not be like this anymore. They might have just gone their separate ways and they're just keeping quiet now. Um, there's a new eyes, new detective, I think, might be coming on scene here, hopefully. Could be that they're being surveilled at the moment, too. Hmm. New eyes, new investigation. Is it a PI? I don't know. But there looks like there could be somebody who is watching from afar. Um, or going, or literally is going to go out there and search for J.O. That's what I see, like maybe a new search team and leader coming in. Could even be someone who's Indigenous coming in to help with new fresh eyes here. Hmm, interesting, guys. I really hope that's the case. I really hope that, I really pray that he's found. I just don't know. Hmm, time to walk away. What's that? Weave your magic. In. Okay, what this is telling me is that whatever the investigation has been focusing on, they need to walk away from that aspect of it now. They need to try something else. Yep, and that's when they're going to come and find okay maybe jo um evidence something along those lines there's something that they will find if they take their focus off something and look somewhere else if that makes sense yeah so those cards don't make sense all right so i'm just going to probably pack this up now the hierophant is all about the life lessons it's knowledge knowledge yeah there's more there's way more to be found here oh my god look at this thugs dealer criminals <laughs> god and coming up again so weird because i don't even think there was a female there but uh it's interesting that well, it could just be telling us that one of these guys has a partner who may have info. I don't know. Um, I don't get that idea. No, not held at ransom. I don't, there definitely wasn't that. Um, but it's saying cold case, old car, and cave inside underground tunnel. So it looks to me like a log. And I always wondered, like, is or something being placed under like an old log i don't know it's hard to tell we don't know until we know it's my favorite saying <laughs> i always say it we don't know until we know uh but i do feel yeah this is an opportunity random a random thing this is impulsive i feel with the killing of him but obviously you know taking his body somewhere was 
June is coming up, could be significant, and a body of water. So it could be that he's in water or near water. And summer as well, which it was. Oh, no, well, well, no, technically it was spring back then. But anyway, guys, I don't really know. I can't feel anything else coming out from this, really. Um, but, yes, he was taken in a car. Look at that, travel. He was definitely in a vehicle. Like, it's not like he just walked off and fell into something or, or anything along those lines. Like, he definitely was taken in a vehicle. Um, yeah, that's what I see. I feel that... There's a lot of sadness around this. Look at the hole in the ground. So I don't know if they've got mines over there, actually, in that part of Queensland. I don't think they do. Um, but it's just interesting. That reminded me of that. Um, but this just reminds me of all the, the sadness around this case, the unknowns, the family constantly missing their, their son, their cousin or nephew or, you know, um, their family member. And it's it's just never getting any kind of answers or closure and I don't like the word closure because I don't think anyone really gets it even when they do have answers but um there's just no answers so they're left in limbo right now and feeling very betrayed I think by someone who was meant to be like a brother to J.O. and totally blindsided um because for some reason he's loyal to these people rather than J.O. and, and J.O.'s family, allegedly, okay. Um, so is it out of fear or is it a drug connection? You know, what, what bonds these people together? What bonds them over his um, connection and bond that he had with, you know, a childhood um, companion? So it just makes you wonder, doesn't it? Um, is it fear? Is it drugs? Um, what the hell? What the hell, guys? But one of them, definitely, I think um, they all know what's going on here. Could be one that knows more than others. But I just don't really feel there's any more info. It's almost like it's just gone like a cold, like a cold case. Um, but I do feel like fresh eyes can be on it. And that could bring in a lot of information, I feel. Somehow, it's going to, I feel like it can. So that's where it is right now, guys. I just wanted to do that check, quick check-in. I hope you're doing really well. And I will try and do another uh, tarot session. Oh, sorry, tarot reading. Or if I feel drawn to on Noah. Um, I won't be doing spirit sessions right now. I've just been so drained from doing them. I did do so many on Noah. And I've done so many readings on Noah. Um, and I feel like other people are coming to me and emailing me and, and asking me to look into their their family situations as well. So there's that behind the scenes that I will try and do if I've got the energy. Um, but yeah, I just really felt the need to, to sit here today and do another update on J.O. So take care, guys. I'll connect with you next time.